Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Tired Hands and you're watching SDTV. Climate change has changed everything on planet Earth. We see these floods in Dubai, the great floods in Sindh. And before that, in 2010, there were floods in Pakistan. That was the biggest ever disaster in the history, bigger even than the flood of Noah at the say. So it was huge. So this is the reason that now countries are running up to bringing green economy and agriculture and forest and everything. We ha if there is a country in Africa as well, which is a champion in this cause, planted billions of trees uh, other, uh, along with other initiatives. And we have, and the country is Ethiopia. We have today with us an uh, extraordinary ambassador of Ethiopia, Jamal Bakr Abdullah with us. Ambassador, very warm welcome. Thank you, Brother Tahir, for having me here. Yeah. Please say a few words on that initiative, your green initiative, which must have been very close to your nation and the government, and then we'll go on further. All right. Thank you, Tahir, for having me here. It is a beautiful studio. I can see it is very good decorated. Thank right. you. Uh, so I can see ideas behind this one. And thank you for having me here. Uh, the Green Legacy Initiative is a brainchild of our prime minister. It started in 2019. Uh, when the Prime Minister um, came in power in 2018, he came up with the philosophy of Maddemar. This philosophical thinking idea is Maddemar. It focuses on, you know, uh, past experiences, past, you know, strengths and, uh, you know, success stories, and resolving also those shortcomings and, you know, uh, shortfall uh, resolutely and uh, building, uh, you know, the current and future generations, you know, desire and rights. So in this sense, with this philosophy, he came up with a homegrown initiative. Homegrown initiative, it has got like political uh, homegrown uh, issues, uh, economic uh, homegrown initiatives, and then, you know, foreign uh, affairs also. And then this is green uh, legacy initiatives which is focusing on how to interact and build also sustainable uh, nature so it is you know the relationship of women with nature that we have so this green legacy initiative we have designed in 2019 within a, you know 10 years we had a plan to plant around 50 billion seedling so last year we are in five year we have printed almost 32.5 billion seedling, which is above our you know, plan. So this success story of Ethiopia, uh, how we do, it was really one very important thing to notice, leadership, commitment, and determinations. Leadership, you know, where he designed that one, and there is a council at national level, which was led by our prime minister in way or the, you know, the state and you know, regional provinces, I mean, uh, provincial uh, CMs are member of it, and so it has got you know subcommittees also under that, which mobilizes at the federal level and then provincial level. So we have champions mobilized our people. Almost thirty-two million of people have participated in this campaign. So it is very amazing, and we have got a successful story. We have uh, you know uh, throughout <coughs> our uh, you know so far. Uh, the landscape, the environment has been completely changed. We restored through afforestation, uh, you know, for reforestations and plantations and, uh, you know, different species depending on ecological suitabilities so that throughout the year, this, you know, cycle is maintained so that nationally this, you know, uh, report. And we have break the record also in a day by planting 350 million seedlings in a day. How do you manage so much? Where do you they brought the seedlings from? I mean, nurseries and all that. It must have been very Herculean task. Yes, this is one of the most challenging things, but it's uh, possible to do. You know, we have developed previously way before the, you know, the campaign has started. We have few seedling centers. Now we have 150,000 seedling centers throughout the country. So in the city, you will find a lot of people, you know, everybody is coming if there is incentivized. People, you know, if you, you know, have a you know, center, the people come and buy you. So it become a livelihood for you. And then also it is 
contributing to the economy also to the green legacy project so we have you know government initiatives and uh, privately owned and also you know government owned uh, you know uh, seedling center throughout the nation so we have every provinces have you know created it based on its ecology and the you know priority plantation you know on different so we plant is like fruits we plant you know vegetables we plant you know like uh, trees so you know homegrown trees uh, you know all those plantation is there so we restored completely and it is a campaign and it is a determination also of our government to make things happen at uh, national level and local level by mobilizing our whole so in this process everyone participates especially you know women youth foreigners also they participate embassies even they have you know plantation within and also outside they have their own you know parks so that they look after so it is a complete campaign mobilization from top down and bottom up also where you know all everybody now sensitized that and every Tobian, you know if you even plant you know at uh, one year we start one has to plant like eight plantation in you know in a year so that i've did myself i also you know have a mountain you know like uh, where we have planted and follow up when i was back home so it was a complete you know change in thinking and you know, also the way of uh, you know looking and then also then attitude completely changed then action now outcomes of you know a very sustainable eco friendly you know ecosystem has been developed now we have a lot of tourist attractions even in the city we have like you know ecosystem you know like roadsides which were the rivers of the city was restored that it was become clean also, you know, like a livable city. So we're creating a through this, you know, uh, campaign. Yeah, it's a complete 360 degree solution to, for the future generation as well. How do you, what are you looking forward? How are you looking forward to being, I mean, collaborate and cooperate with Pakistan to, for some joint action between the two brotherly countries? Yes, this is very important. You know, what strikes <clears throat> me when I come to this country in 2022, when I presented my credential on 29 and uh, at that time, just after that, you know, a few uh, months, it's like in June, July, you know, Pakistan was indoted in uh, like one third of its land was in water. Yeah. And that was totally, I was so shocked, you know, you know it was, uh, it became a, a climate fiasco and yeah. they were everyone, you know, affected. And uh, at that time I couldn't hold myself and my government and myself. You know, I went down all the way to Sindh, where the most of the, you know, the water has affected. And uh, I met with officials, you know, uh, Murad Ali Shah, Governor Saab, you know, Kamran Tasuri, all of them we discussed and uh, a lot of agendas. And then I went all the way to, you know, 10th city, which is a uh, three hour drive from Karachi. I drive all the way and I met over there, you know, like uh, people displaced around 10,000 people are living in that center. And, uh, you know, women are giving birth under the tent, children out of school, every infrastructure was destroyed. You know, when I reach there, they welcome you with, you know, like you can notice on their face the agony and pain they are in. And it, Ethiopia has shared that pain with them and myself experienced how the Pakistan has suffered for the reason they are not part, if not minimal. And uh, so uh, since then, my idea, you know, it touched me and I said, uh, we need to cooperate with Pakistan on climate matters, climate justice, financial climate, and technology transfer, adaptation, uh, you know, mitigation it will be have taken so far. So with that thinking, I try to approach and I also launch the Green Legacy Fraternity, Fraternity of Ethiopia and Pakistan under Green Legacy Initiative, where I, you know, we have planted uh, a lot of, you know, planters in our embassies, in the presence of minister at that time, you know, the, and, uh, with the Saad Rafiq at that time, the minister for railway and uh, innovation and the minister for, you know, uh, narcotic, Bukhti with their, Her Excellency also, Romena Khurshid Alam also, at that time she's advisor to Prime Minister on Sustainable, now the Climate Change Ministry Coordinator, she was also there. So we have started that one. Now, after that, you know, I was thinking how to broaden this one and bring, you know, throughout Pakistan's, you know, uh, action. So that has initiated. And uh, recently I met with the minister, oh, you know, uh, Romina Khurshid Alam. We have discussed on, you know, the partnerships and, you know, strategic cooperation in this matter. 
and she has accepted. And uh, we start now an institutional collaboration between Ethiopia and Pakistan in that sense. So we'll start a campaign throughout the country. Today we had, you know, at SDI, we had a good discussion with, you know, the management teams and, you know, uh, also other, you know, media groups who was present here to sensitize and then We'll start next week in Punjab area. So we'll start from, you know, Sialkot all the way to Faisalabad, yeah, you know, Gujrawala, you know, uh, all those cities, major cities will tour and then also we'll move to Sindh and Koita. So Pakistan has already recently also affected in uh, Baluchi, you know, where the, you know, the flood has affected recently also, you know, in the UAE in the, these days. So it become a global issue. We cannot keep neutral on this matter. So. Uh, my embassy and myself were working hard to bring, you know, a fraternity under green legacy to bring our people an institutional linkage, you know, ideas, skills, experiences Ethiopia had to Pakistan to advance collective action against climate change. Ambassador, thank you very much for sparing so much time for us and looking forward for more media and this sort of interaction with you. The bottom line is that the climate change is such a big challenge that I think no single country can handle it whole, I mean, in a, in a very single-handedly. So cooperation is uh, sharing thought process and learning from each other experience. That is the way that we can bring uh, synergy for future action and for success. With this, we come to the end of the program. Goodbye for now. Thank you.